I've been having very good results with my adjustment to my diet. I've been using these cups to measure, whoa, <laughs> to measure the amounts. And I'll review that. Protein. Fat. Fruit. Oops. Vegetable. Whole grain, starch, carbohydrate. Now, this doesn't mean that I'm going to fill this with butter. That would be outrageous. That would be like more than four tablespoons, which is more than ice cream. But this just reminds me that I need a small amount of a fat, whether it's some kind of vegetable butter spread type of thing, or if it's nuts, which is mo mostly fat, or seeds. Now, now today, this morning, I had um, non-dairy yogurt as my protein. Um, I read the package to see how much fat is in it, and this would have been too much. So I put the yogurt about up to there, maybe four or five ounces instead of six ounces. And I skipped the fat because there's already fat in the yogurt, so the yogurt had protein and fat. Now, for my fruit, I filled this almost to the top with applesauce, and I flavored it with orange juice concentrate, just a tiny bit, and some pineapple juice. And I saved that for the end of the meal. This was uh, green beans, frozen green beans I cooked yesterday. Plain. And this was uh, two pieces of sprouted whole grain bread. No, I didn't put them in here. This is just to give me an idea, you know, of the amount. Now, it wasn't those gigantic slices that some breads are. It was a little smaller. And I ate that plain. But I had a problem after I finished the uh, yogurt and the uh, green beans and the toast, I had a problem with the fruit. I took, I took one mouthful of it. It tasted very nice as usual, but I just felt extremely full. I did not want it. I wasn't enjoying it. It, 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 you know that gross feeling like like when you had an enormous holiday dinner and you ate too much and today is what the third or fourth day of this uh, diet adjustment now yesterday I ate four times continuing with the small amounts I wanted more but today's the first day I didn't want more and I couldn't even finish so I took the fruit and I put it in the refrigerator for later. So this just reminds me that our brains, which are the hardware, and our thoughts, our appetite, which is the software program, we can work with that and train ourselves. You see, your, your body wants what's healthy. And so if you use repetition by forcing yourself to do the healthy thing, after a while, you'll want to do the healthy thing, and you'll need to do the healthy thing, and you won't be able to overeat because it'll just feel disgusting. This reminds me when I first uh, was experimenting with not having dairy anymore. Um, I missed it for a while, and after a few months, I thought I'd try it again. And I did, and it tasted so gross, so forget it. I just gave it up, because our bodies immediately notice something that's not healthy. But if you're going to be slowly, you know, like brainwashing uh, your, your body, your mind, uh, your subconscious to eat unhealthy things, it's, it's not going to... It's going to just do what you what you're teaching it to do. 
But if you give it, you know, healthy, good things, it's going to get used to that and it's going to respond and it's going to send going to send you all kinds of signals to, you know, stop doing bad things. It, it's like driving. When you first learned to drive, you had to concentrate on every movement and every sight, and now you just do it automatically. You could be you know, singing along to the radio, you could be thinking of other things, you're just automatically driving because, you know, that's what rep repetition does. It slowly enters your subconscious. It becomes like an autopilot, automatic. So don't hesitate to uh, suffer a few hours, a few days, a few weeks. The longer you've been doing unhealthy things, the longer it's going to take to get this programming in your mind and you're going to need and want and love doing healthy things. Um, remember that movie Castaway and uh, Tom Hanks in it, he was overweight in the beginning and after being on the island uh, several months um, he was you know in shape. He really did that, he really was overweight and he really got in shape and of course he had all kinds of help and trainers etc and it took him six months all right maybe we don't have all that kind of, t of help maybe it'll take us a year but we can do it and it feels so good not to be overweight and to have a good night's sleep and to have energy and it, it just it just feels good so uh Keep trying. If you don't like this way of measuring your food, you can weigh your food. Or you could just take a good look at it and decide, is that too much? You know, if you're six foot tall and muscular, yes, you're going to need more of this. You know, you might need the two, three cups of each item. But, you know, if you're like me, you know, somewhere in between petite and average, you don't, you don't need a lot. And people that are smaller than me need even less. And don't worry about it. You're not going to you're not going to crave things forever. It's just for a while. And most experts say that it takes three weeks, that's 21 days, to get a new habit. But uh, I think the more motivated you are and the harder you try, it'll take a lot less time than that. I've done it, and it works, and it's worth it. And those of you who have many adversaries in life, like I happen to have, um, this is how you, how you could fight them, by being a good example, by having success. Isn't that better than taking revenge or getting angry or losing your temper? Just put all your energy into self-improvement and be grateful. Be grateful if you're religious and be grateful to the Almighty. If you're not religious, you can be thankful for nature, which shows us examples of everything. And um, do the basic things. Honor your parents. Tell the truth and keep your word. 